Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Pist Consumer YouTube channel. Oh air conditioners, how we love thee. You keep us cool in summer and warm in winter. Why am I even talking about this? Well, because our speaker today is going to tell us a story about his experience with the company called Friedrich Air Conditioning. And mind this, his story is full of wonderful, we think, ideas about how certain things can be approved. We would appreciate your comments and your opinions. Now, without further ado, enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. We put an air conditioner about a year and a half ago and it was working fine. And um, we noticed that there was some debris inside the air conditioner and I contacted the company and um, they were basically, once, once they hear that there's any type of debris or mold or whatever it may be, they don't want to help you and they say, okay, well, you need to get it professionally cleaned. And they referred me to um, a number of different companies that can do this. Now they call it um, steam cleaning or professional cleaning, whatever, there's a couple different terms that they use basically mean the same thing. I, I called up some of these companies that do these cleanings and they range anywhere from about $250 to typically $375 for one of these cleanings. Now that cleaning consists of them coming out to your home or apartment, wherever you live, removing the unit, bringing it back to their facility, taking it apart, cleaning it, and then bringing it back to your location and reinstalling it. Now, the, the problem here is if it were to cost $375 for this cleaning, no one's going to want to do it because it costs $420 or so for a brand new unit. So most people are going to be saying, well, just throwing their hands up and saying, okay, well, I'm not going to want to do this. I'm just going to buy a brand new unit and throw out this air conditioner. And this, if that were the case, all the poisonous chemicals, the mercury and whatever, whatever may be inside that device are going to end up in polluting the environment. What did they promise you when you purchased this air conditioner from them? Did they give you any type of warranty as to? Right. There is a one-year warranty, but if it exceeds that one-year warranty, it's out of warranty. And then you have to seek uh, a third party to do any cleaning. They would have to, like I said, they would have to come out to our location, remove the unit, bring it to the back to their facility, disassemble it, re, uh, clean it, and then come back and re reinstall it. It's going to cost typically $375 for a cleaning, but this unit is $420 brand new. So most people, like myself, would think that it would be ridiculous to pay that amount of money when you could buy a brand new unit would not, which would not have any problems for, what, 20-something, 20, 20, $40 more? And the thing is, um, I've been walking around New York City. I've been walking around Brooklyn and Queens, and I've been looking at various other brands, and they pretty much have the same flaws. For example, Friedrich... Um, has uh, a circular um, hole on the bottom right, I believe. But the thing is, the circle is, the hole is too high up. So the water that would, would uh, be on the, the base, there's about at least one third of an inch, maybe one, a quarter of an inch or one third of an inch or more, probably more, area on the bottom. So that's where the water can just let. And when I spoke to various people at the company, they told me, okay, well, you're not supposed to use any covers. Maybe that can create a uh, mold. And I said, well, in the wintertime, I have to use a cover because the freezing cold air from the wintertime goes right through the apartment and it comes right through the air conditioner. And then once they say, oh, okay, well, you use the cover, they didn't want to help. Me. So you did get in touch with Friedrich Air Conditioning. Yes, and I got, I even got escalated to higher up managers. And um, I told them in my case, 
we have our air conditioner in the front of the building and we have two windows side by side. Well, they're about um, five or six feet apart from each other. So there's a window here and then there's a window here. On the right hand side, there is um, garbage from the building. On the left hand side, there is where we have our air conditioner. On the right hand side, like I said, there's garbage. We have no control over that. There's a little, it's a little gate. And about five feet or more away is our air conditioner. So in the summertime, um, we have uh, compost. We have recycle, we have normal garbage, and we have a brown compost container. So whenever people put food, uh, scraps and what whatnot, it attracts flies. So when we don't have the air conditioner on, the flies come in through the air conditioner into our apartment. So it doesn't matter what brand you have here; it's a it's a flaw in the design. So it, I don't care if it's Friedrich or if it's Frigidaire or it's an LG or I don't care what brand you have. It is a design flaw. It has to be what they what they should do. Honestly, if I were to create an air a new new reinvented air conditioner, I would put it into an enclosed room, turn on the air conditioner. In this enclosed room, I would release a thousand or more cockroaches and see how many cockroaches get inside their equipment. I would also um, uh, put it into like a wind tunnel and uh, a rain tunnel with lots of rain and see how much water collects on the bottom of the air conditioner without fully getting out of the machine. What they should do is like the, the photo I just showed you with the garbage can with all the holes. Create all those holes on the base. Have a have an incline, like right here. So the water will slide down the incline. And on the base right here, have all these little holes. So all the it doesn't matter. It's not just on the right side over here. It could be, it doesn't matter where it is in the entire trough. It will just fall right out. That would be a much more intelligent air conditioner. I told Friedrich over the phone, what you need to do is make your air conditioner easily serviceable. So all we need to do is take it out. That, and I don't want to spend $375 to have it professionally clean. When all I need to do is take a wet sponge, hot water, wet sponge, do a wipe, clean it off, clear, clean any debris. I saw the other day, I saw bird feathers. I saw pigeon poop. I saw mud, all collected on various people's air conditioners. Now, if you have bird poop, that's going to create infectious air, airborne mold and infections. So if you have a child, they can get horribly sick with a respiratory infection. Now, let me ask you this, please, a little bit off the topic off of air conditioning. How did it happen that you decided to go online and tell the story to everybody? What motivated you? I kind of stumbled upon it, and um, I don't remember how I found your website, but um, I was kind of frustrated because I had reached out to the company numerous times, and I had told them exactly what my concerns were, and they pretty much did not want to help once I told them what the situation was. And I said, well, I said, it doesn't matter who I am, doesn't matter how much money I have in the bank. An infection or airborne mold or airborne bacteria doesn't discriminate against you. It's going to infect you regardless. So I said this needs to be improved upon not only in your company and with other colleagues of yours and other companies, and they need to collaborate and make something that is not prone to these problems. And they pretty much didn't want to listen to me then and one even hung up on me. And I was like, well, once they don't even want to listen to me, that's just really bad practice. Sir, I understand that you're obviously very upset with this company. I mean, I would be if I were you and anybody would be, you know, when you are giving somebody a legitimate claim and they're behaving like this company did. Let me let's let's imagine a hypothetical situation where Friedrich air conditioning somehow things that, okay, let's take a step back. We behaved in the incorrect way. Let us try and help out this gentleman. Could they do something in response to your request? I think, to be honest with you, they need to, like I told them, 
redesign in their one of their I'm sure one of their fancy 3D modeling programs on their computer an, a, f- a corrected model like I explained to you with that incline so the water goes down with all the multiple poles and uh, like I showed you with the New York City garbage can that's designed in such a way that mice and rats and cockroaches and what all sorts of different bugs cannot get inside the garbage. They need to think outside the box and think in those sort of terms. So your air, air Friedrich air conditioners, LG, doesn't matter. Oh, uh, what is the Frigidaire? Doesn't matter what brand you have. It's going to be all over the United States. I mean, I have a friend of mine who is in Arizona, and she has miniature scorpions all over the place. And if they were to get inside her air conditioner, I mean, <laughs> that was a sting. I mean, I told Friedrich, I said, well, they were like, well, how do flies get inside your apartment? I told them about the garbage situation. They're like, well, why do you have your air conditioner so close to the garbage? And I'm like, well, that's where their window is. I'm like, we only have two windows, left and right. And the one window is right in front of the garbage. And the other window is five feet away from the garbage. The flies fly right into the, into the air conditioners. Not all of them, but some of them do. And uh, this, this month, we uh, not this month, this summer, we've had um, a lot of fireflies. Fireflies have gotten through, you know, the, the cute little fireflies. They get in through the, the tiny little bugs. They get inside the, the air, air conditioner when the air conditioner is obviously not turned on. The blades are flapping around where it's going to kill the bug. But if it's turned off, they're going to get inside the apartment. The thing is, we also have a cat. If cats eat a firefly, it's poisonous and they die. 